Hey everybody, it's Aaron Blaze, and uh, sorry it's been so long since I've done an Aaron's Art Tips video. Um, I've had a big summer. Um, I moved uh, a couple of months ago, um, and so I apologize for the echoey sound. I haven't had a chance to really get the sound right, and I can't find I can't find my microphone from from the move. It's in a box somewhere that I haven't found yet. So um, so I'll try to clean up the sound as much as possible. But um, like I said, I've had a very big move. I'm in uh, a new house now. I'm in a new town in Florida. Um, also, I've been doing some traveling. Uh, a couple months ago, I was out in Los Angeles te teaching some Adobe Photoshop classes for Adobe at the Adobe Max uh, conference out there. And then recently, uh, just a couple weeks ago, I just got back from Chile, from Santiago, Chile, where they had a Seagraph event down there. And, uh, and down there, I gave a little lecture on animals in animation and had a lot of fun taking a group out to uh, the National Zoo in Santiago and, um, and doing a little drawing tour of the animals there. Um, it was a great experience. And so now I'm back and I uh, want to get back into all of this. I've got a very short uh, Aaron's art tips for you today for you Photoshop users. I just, um, I'm doing this sketch real quick. Um, uh, I'm doing this sketch of this gorilla and um, I've actually finished it, but I've, I've kind of broken it all back down uh, to show you guys a little tip. Um, so here's the rough drawing. And then uh, one of the things I do after I get this rough drawing done, I'll knock that opacity way down like so. I'll do another drawing. There we go. I'll do the finished drawing right over the top. Okay. Um, and then underneath that, what I like to do is add what I call my local color. If you've ever watched my um, introduction to Photoshop in my other Aaron's Art Tips section, then you'll see uh, that you know once I do my drawing like this, I like to add my local color. Local color is the color of an object when it's not lit and it's not in shadow. It's just the actual color of that object. And so if I turn this layer on, you can see that I've basically laid in, or I've laid in the basic color of, uh, of the gorilla. Now the thing I want to show you today, if I turn off these two drawing layers, you can see that I've got this very basic um, color layer. Okay. Now one, the thing I want to show you is this. It's a very, very simple little trick, but um, when it comes time to start shading and adding other color and uh, you know, adding shadows, adding lights, that sort of thing. One thing I love to do um, when I have this layer, my local color layer done, is I'll come up here and you see this little button right here, it says lock. Now, I was just recently in the last year or so uh, started using this, someone pointed it out to me. Some of you may already know about it, some of you may not, but for those of you that don't, click on this lock button and what happens is, you'll see something really cool. Let's see, I'll grab a, uh, grab a brush here and let's, I'll just grab any, a random color. And what will happen is I can run a line across and look, it only draws where the, the layer is. It's, that layer is locked, so it doesn't draw anywhere else. Now, the reason that comes in so handy is, the reason that comes in so handy is we just turned on these two new layers. I'm sorry, the two drawing layers. I'm going to lock that uh, local color layer, like uh, the, the color layer right there. And then what I'll do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab a brush. Yeah, I'll grab this brush and I'll bring it about that size. And I'm going to bring the opacity here. I'm going to, I want it to, I'm going to do my shadows is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to um, go a little bit dark in here and then I'm going to set my blend mode. These are my brush blend modes up here. I'm going to set that to multiply. So now what that's going to do is I'm going to be able to paint shadows in there. Now the reason it works so well when you have that layer locked is watch I can paint along the edge here and look it won't go outside I can be very loose with it and it doesn't go outside the line. See here I can just be nice and broad with it and it doesn't go outside that line. Now in here obviously I got to be careful because it's all within the same layer back here through here it doesn't go outside the line and that comes in very very handy it speeds my process up immensely so now as I paint in my shadows
it uh, it stays in. Now let's say I want to do some light areas. So let's I'm going to just go ahead and grab you know a little lighter color. I'm going to set this back to normal. And same thing. It won't paint outside that layer. I'm going to get a little brighter color here. So it just it, what it does is it just it saves it saves you a little bit of trouble when you're trying to uh, be quick and you want to stay within the lines. You can work it like so, and then you can always turn it off, and it'll go right back to drawing outside the line. Turn it back on, and you're drawing within the lines. Okay. So there you go. That's my quick tip of the day. Use use your lock button for your levels uh, when you're when you're trying to paint and you want to paint quickly. Uh, it it just saves a lot of time. So um, if you like what you see, if you like my channel, please remember go ahead, click that red to subscribe button uh, at the end of the um, at the end of this video, and uh, and spread the word. You know I'm uh, my channel's been growing, and I really appreciate it, you guys. There's going to be a lot more to come. Um, and remember, check out my website, creatureartteacher.com. Um, for those of you that do know about it, you know that there's a lot of, I've got animation tutorials on there, painting tutorials. And in the next few months, I've got a few more uh, big tutorials coming up. I've got a character design uh, tutorial, whole multi-video set that I'm working on right now. And I've also got a lot of how to draw animals and that sort of thing. So anyway, uh, I hope you've learned something today. Get out there and keep on painting, keep on drawing, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit the red subscribe button down below. Spread the word. And also, if there's something that you're not seeing that you'd like to see, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot.